Hey, what's up? I'm talking to you today from sunny northern Nevada. And I'm so relieved that it is nice and sunny out because I, for one, have had enough of the winter. I'm not into snow sports. I don't dig shoveling. And as far as I'm concerned, the only place I need ice is in a cold drink. So this weather, for me, is awesome. Not to mention the time changed. So this is the time of year to get things done for me. I don't know what it is about that time change, but it's just such a drag. And I've got no use for it. California got smart this year. They voted to not change their time anymore from what I understand. Yay, California. Let's see if we can't make this countrywide. <laughs> maybe it's the last thing Trump will do while he's in office. I don't know. Or maybe the first thing in his next term which may be great for you or scary, depending on <laughs> what you think. Anyway, I was reading an email today from a guy who was talking about a post on Facebook, and apparently it was a marketer that had done some really big stuff on Facebook, a quarter million dollar ad spend and like three or four million dollars of revenue. And he was, the, the, the guy writing the email was talking about it and saying, you know, he, he just listening to it, seeing what the guy had to say, but he, he found this one part that he thought was very interesting, and it said, look, if you're going to do this stuff, you got to put in the work. None of this comes blah, 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 whatever he said after that. doesn't matter. And anyway, the guy writing the email thought that, see, you got to, no matter what you do, you got to put in the work. And for whatever reason, he thought this was very profound or interesting or something. I thought, really? I'd like to ask you, what the hell do you mean, the work? You mean if I want to dig a hole, I actually have to take the shovel and move dirt with it? Really? I mean, what kind of customers does this guy have? Who exactly is he speaking to that you can use a term like the work and it's going to be some profound thing to them? Well, uh, what specifically do you mean by the work? You know? And it's like the guy ought to be a politician. You, you, you didn't say anything. You, you, are you honestly going to put that out there? You want to act like you have any business whatsoever teaching, but obviously you got the, the ad thing nailed down. You know, if you're, if you're working with a quarter million dollars, you pull back three, three and a half, whatever it was, you got that nailed. But if you consider yourself to be any kind of instructor and you're telling someone to do the work, I, I don't know. To me, that's that's gibberish. It's fluff. It's horse crap. And I, I don't understand why the guy can't just say something that means something. And I don't know what the other dude's thinking either. Yes, you've got to put in the work. Well, if you're watching my videos, I'm not going to tell you to just put in the work. I'll give you a tip, actually. Um, I, I'm a copywriter I, for myself. I don't, I've been paid for it, which means I can call myself a professional copywriter because that's, that's the cutoff right there. Have you ever been paid for it? Do you get paid to write copy? Yes, then you're a professional. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, am I any good? Well, that's up to you. So when you're, but the thing is when you're doing copy or you're making an ad or you're attempting to sell something, to market things to people, your first thing that you got to do is take a look at the market. And I mean to ratchet it down as deeply as you can go to find out who specifically are you talking to. Even if all things are equal, and you've got a difference between are you speaking mainly yeah. <laughs> are you speaking mainly to females or males? That's a big difference, right? And when you know their occupations and the the types of neighborhoods they live in and the types of things they do for fun, the types of things that they watch on TV, the magazines they read, all these things are going to give you more information so that you can speak to those people using their language and talking about stuff that they talk about, things that they're interested in. And everything else you do 
to attempt to influence these people to buy your product or service is going to be much more clear and much more easy for you because you understand who you're talking to. So you're going to want to do research on these people and find out about as much find as much about them as you can. That's putting in the work <laughs> for if you want to write an ad or an email or a sales letter or so, make a video for a certain group of people you're selling to, that's the work that you got to do. It's called research. It's a first step. So that's what I got for today. I, I hope you enjoyed it because I had a lot of fun making this video. And anyway, that's all I got for today. And I will see you tomorrow. I'm out.